My name is Miriam Perez, and I will be doing a form analysis on Susan Ricker Knox oil painting called Afternoon Tea. She was an American artist from 1874 to 1959. Afternoon Tea is an oil painting on canvas. It is an impasto oil painting. This gives the painting a, a texture in a 2D plane. The shape of the painting is organic, meaning curvilinear and no angles, no geometric shapes. The painting moves from warm colors to cool ones. And this is because on the bottom, we can see the red, orange, and yellows move to the blue and the greens. This also adds a value. Uh, the teapot right there in the front gives the illusion of depth by overlapping. Since it's in the front, it may seem like it is bigger and that could be of diminishing size as well. The line strokes on the ladies' dresses are vertical on the top part, and they're horizontal, giving it an equilibrium. The principles of design are the balance of visual weight. It's symmetrical, as you can see, it seems like a mirror image, yet it is not because they look different and the, like there's a bracelet and there's a, she's wearing a watch and the faces are not identical the, so but we can see the it is a symmetrical balance where they don't match perfectly but they give a balance of equilibrium um, the emphasis of the whole painting is their their faces actually and we can this emphasis is directed by directional forces um, the directional forces are coming from this way and the emphasis is their faces but like the focal point also helps get helps us get to that emphasis and those a focal point is that one in the middle. And we can see the directional forces imply lines. In this case, they're actual lines. They're pointing towards there. As you can see, the lines point there. They all come together at that point. The scale of the painting, it's a big one, so it's it's a bigger impact and the proportion of the proportion seems to be just fine um, the style of the painting is naturalistic since we can recognize their faces unlike when it's um, abstract or non-objective and it's a visual reality and depicted the form and con the content can be just two ladies having a cup of tea, since the name of the painting, it is afternoon tea. This painting seems to be actually, I mean, it's in the, it was in the 1920s, so you can see that it's starting to crack, but it's remaining. The contours are their faces and how they express their emotions through paintings is quite unique. Overall, this painting is really nice and full of vibrant colors. Okay. We can appreciate a chiaroscuro of the picture since it does look like 
3G